Should you run Kubernetes at home? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless... I'll answer the first question. Yeah, there, there are some caveats. But, okay. uh, you know, a lot of folks think that there's this natural linear progression to Kubernetes, right? As we had from virtual machines, right? Physical machines turned to virtual machines. And then people realized, hey, with containers, I don't need all of that excess OS stuff, so I'll just run containers. And it's this linear progression. The next linear progression isn't always Kubernetes, right? Kubernetes provides a lot of things and does a lot of things different than just Docker itself. Uh, and so that might be a side quest or a dotted line to somewhere else to basically ask yourself, do I need things to be highly available? Do I need unified storage and unified networking? Do I need load balancers? Do I need all of these things? Really, really, because Kubernetes uh, was made to run things at scale. And so what can you run at scale at home? Almost nothing. 